Hello, I'm Janet. We have Edmund here today as the representation of our beginner practitioner. We'll be practicing together today. Please find a comfortable sitting position. You can sit cross-legged or in the Japanese kneeling position. Your knees can come close towards each other or you can have them separated. If you notice your knees are not comfortable with these positions, you can take a yoga block and put it under your pelvis. After you've settled in your sitting posture, you can place your hands on your laps with your palms up or facing down. Some people like to stack one palm on top of the other. It's all good. Now you can slowly close your eyes. Allow our disturbed mind to slowly come back to stillness. Preparing for our yoga practice today. Let's soften your belly. Allow your shoulders and face to relax. Bring your awareness to your natural breathing, observing the breath coming in, observing the breath leaving your body. The breath flows in and out effortlessly. You don't need to change your breath. You can slowly open your eyes with a gentle smile. Let's begin by taking care of our neck. So bring your hands to your knees. And as you exhale, slowly drop your head towards your belly. Imagine your head becoming heavier and heavier at each exhale. Now as your exhale comes, please slowly roll your head to your right. Imagine your head becoming heavy and it drops towards your shoulder. Be aware whether your spine will collapse to the right. Please slowly keep it erect. And when the inhale comes, roll your head towards the back. If there's discomfort in your neck, you can back off a little bit. Exhale, roll to your left. Maybe you feel a stretch at the right side of your neck. And now exhale, slowly come back to the front. Let's speed up a little bit two more times. Inhale to the right, back, to the side, and drop to the front. One more time, inhale right, to your back. You can look up or you can close your eyes. And exhale to your left and down. Inhale, slowly roll to your left. We change direction to the back, right side and then dropping your head to the front. Inhale, left, your back. Roll to the right, exhale to the front. Last time, inhale, left. Exhale, down. When your inhale comes, slowly lift your head up, facing the front. Now we're getting ready to stretch our shoulders. You can place your fingers at the tip of your shoulders, not too close to your neck, but just to the tip of your shoulder. Now exhale, bring your elbows in towards the midline. Some people cannot bring your elbows in together. It's okay. Inhale, bring the elbows up, up. Maybe you can even shrug your shoulders. Open to the side and exhale down. Inhale, elbows in, lift up, lift your shoulders very high, and exhale, open up, down. Inhale again, go up. Exhale, slowly come down. Let's reverse the direction. Inhale, open to the back, and up, up to the highest point. Relax your face, exhale, bring your elbows in, and down. Two more times. Inhale, go up and back like wings. Exhale, elbows in, down. One last time. Inhale, 
Notice whether your hands will move around, keep them still. Exhale, slowly lower. Now slowly release your hands to the side. Now we continue with another shoulder stretch. Take a strap, and if you don't have a yoga strap, just use a strain. Now open your hands to about one and a half shoulder width, or even two times of your shoulder width. Now our idea is to inhale, lift up, exhale, go down, without wobbling the hands to the side or bending the elbows. Now I want you to go through and feel a knot in your shoulder, feel the tightness as you go through. Otherwise, the strap might be too long. Now relax your shoulders. Inhale, reach up. Go back. And go through that knot. Slowly exhale, lower down. Inhale, go up. Go through that knot very slowly. Go forward. Exhale, down and forward. It's three more times. Inhale, up. Exhale, arm straight, go down. Inhale. Exhale, forward and down. If you can, you can tighten the strap maybe one more inch or so. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slowly keep your elbow straight and go down. Inhale, up. And exhale, lower down. One last time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back up from the back. Exhale, lower down. Now you can put the strap aside. And feel free to release your shoulders and make circles with your shoulders if you notice it's a little bit tight. Now we are working on a side bend. Please extend your left hand over to the side. Palm or sand on your fingers, no problem. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, reach over to your left. Feel free to walk your left hand over. And some people keep the arm straight. Some people can lower the elbow down to the floor. Just watch your right pelvis and try to keep it down. And inhale, reach over. Exhale, slowly bow towards the left knee. You can walk your hands away from your left knee, so both your chest and your knee are pointing to the same direction. And then inhale, walk your hands back to the center line. Exhale, you bow forward. Inhale, walk your hands back towards your pelvis, roll yourself up. Mm, exhale, just relax. Preparing the right. Inhale, right hand over to the side. Exhale, ready, left hand. Inhale, reach your left hand over. Exhale, to your right. You can even look forward or you can drop your head, no problem. As long as your neck is nice and relaxed. Exhale, slowly bow towards your right knee. Just watch out your left pelvis is grounded towards the floor. Now inhale, walk back to the center. And exhale, bow down to the front. Inhale, roll yourself up. And exhale, relax your hands. Now you can slowly use your hands to guide your knees back to the center and then release your legs to the front. Hands behind you and you can slowly just release shaking your legs like me and then roll your legs to one side to another. Now we're preparing for the next set of poses called the cat cow pose. Please come into all four position. Keep your hands about shoulder width apart and then your shoulders directly on top of your wrists. And then your knees to about hip width. You can either tuck toes or point your toes back. If your knees are not comfortable, you can fold your mat halfway and then support your knees. Some people you even use a blanket to support the knees. So please try to grip the floor with your finger pads 
so that as we move into our movement, you won't have too much stress on your wrists. Now inhale, slowly look up at your back. Imagine your tail going up to the ceiling. And then exhale, round your spine. You can even puff up your upper back. Inhale, looking up, dropping your belly to the floor. Open your chest by pulling your shoulders back. And exhale, slowly round your spine, look towards your belly. Imagine your upper back like a mushroom. Inhale, looking up, tailbone upward, dropping belly. Exhale, rounding the spine, grip the floor. Two more times, inhale up. You don't need to go too fast. Exhale, slowly round down. How do I round? Does it come from my head first or my spine? Inhale, going up. And exhale, rounding down. Inhale, come back to a neutral position. And exhale, slowly sit on your heels into a child's pose. You can either keep your knees wide, or if you have more flexibility, you can bring your knees together. So hands are either by the side of your body, or you can keep them extended, no problem. Breathe. Slowly, from your child's pose, round yourself up. Please release your feet to one side. And then return to the middle of your mat. Slowly straighten your legs and come to a ragdoll position. If you notice your eyes are about the height of your knees and your spine is rounding a lot, please bend your knees so that the spine can just fall, drag down towards the floor. Feel free to shake your head from side to side. You can hold on to opposite elbows. Relax your shoulders. If possible, inhale, lift your tailbone up to the sky. Exhale, just let your head, upper body fall down. Now release your hands, inhale, slowly round yourself up. You can use your hands to push into your leg and then bring your feet together. Now we are going to take care of our knees. Bend your knees a little bit, place your hands closer towards your knees. And we're gonna make circles with the knees clockwise. If you notice your knees are not feeling comfortable, you can sit up a little bit higher. Now let's change direction, counterclockwise. You can make big circles or small circles. Now slowly come back to the center, standing tall. Let's open your feet a little bit wider than your hips. You can even turn your toes out, no problem. Now we're gonna take care of our hip joints. Please place your hands at your hips. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, push your hips over to your left. Then to the front, moving clockwise. And then exhale to the right, to the back. Inhale to the left, the front. As you rotate like this, you might notice it's not going as smooth as you like. It is okay. Now one more time. Please rotate according to your breathing. And then when you come back to the front, let's change direction. So inhale to the right to the back, to the left. One more circle. Just keep your breath smooth. Now come back to the middle. Relax your arms to the side. Keep your feet hip width apart, about parallel feet. We're going into a side bending. So inhale, reach your arms up. Use your left hand, grab hold of your right wrist. Inhale, stand tall one more time. Exhale, push your hips over to your right. 
and then reach your hands over to your left. If you notice as you pull to your left, your chest is collapsing to the floor, please inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, hips over to your right. You can keep your arms straight if possible. Now come back, change side. Exhale, hips to the left, arms to the right. You can look forward or you can drop your head. Keep breathing. One more breath. Inhale, come back to the midline. Exhale, arms down. Now we move into the forward bend and back bend series. Please place your hands at the lower back, closer to your pelvis. Please keep your chest lifted. And then exhale, we try to squeeze the elbows in gently. Now inhale, looking up, lifting the heart. Exhale, use your hands to push your hips forward. Gently bring your elbows in. Now coming back, inhale. Exhale, micro bend your knees to fold forward. Place your hands to the floor, if possible. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, fingers to your hips. Inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, hands on your lower back. Inhale, look up, lift your chest. Exhale, elbows in, push your hips forward. Notice whether your chest is dropping down to the floor. Remember, inhale, lift your heart. Now coming back, exhale, fold forward. You can bend your knees, relax your eyes. Inhale, reach all the way up to the ceiling now. Exhale, hands at your lower back. One more time, inhale, lifting the heart. Exhale, elbows in, push your hips forward. Please keep breathing, your chest lifting. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, fingers to your hips. Inhale, push your feet into the floor to come up. Now we're moving into our chair pose series. So please keep your feet about hip width apart. And then slowly inhale, reach your arms up about shoulder height. Relax your shoulders. You can gently bring your shoulder blades towards the midline. Relaxing your neck. And now exhale. Imagine there's a chair behind you. Let's sit on the chair. If your knees are moving beyond your ankles, you can gently bring your knees back to maximize your thigh training. Just looking forward, keep breathing. If you sit too low and you notice your back doesn't feel good or your knee doesn't feel good, please lift up and sit a little bit taller. Now inhale, come back. Exhale, release your arms. We have two more times. Inhale, arms up, shoulder height. Relax your neck. Exhale, slowly sit back. Move your knees back. You can see your toes. Now inhale, reach your arms overhead. Hook your thumbs. We try to bring the arms towards the back to stretch the shoulders. If you notice that's too hard for your shoulders, feel free to bend your elbows. Now, if possible, sit a little bit lower. Imagine squeezing your legs towards the midline. Now, adding on, inhale, lift your heels up slightly. Imagine, exhale, pushing your heels towards the front. Squeeze your legs towards the center. Now, inhale, reaching up, still squeezing your legs. Exhale, lower your heels, arms down to the side. One last time. Inhale, you reach up and then sit low. Again, if you're sitting too low and your knees don't feel good, lift up a little bit. Now exhale, bring your hands towards the center in a prayer position. Inhale, opening the heart. And then exhale, twist over to the right. Place your left elbow to the inside of your left thigh. Now every exhale, push your right palm against your left so that your spine, your chest can lift up. 
Now inhale, reach your arms back up to the ceiling. Exhale, change side. Right elbow to the right thigh. Now remember to squeeze your legs towards the midline. You can look up, you can look to the side. No problem. Inhale, reach your arms up to ceiling. Exhale, stand tall. Release your arms to the side. And please wiggle your legs to just relax them. Now please slowly come alongside your mat. Open your feet to two-thirds of your mat. If that stretches your legs too much, you can choose to bend your knees a little bit. Now inhale, spread your wings. Exhale, slowly fold forward. You can place your hands in between your feet. Inhale, lift your heart up halfway, hands stay on the floor. Exhale, bow forward, and you can start to move your hands back and line up your wrists under your elbows. Gently squeeze your elbows in. When you exhale, push your hands down and away from you. If your legs are stretching a lot, you can either lengthen your stance or micro bend your knees. Now let's move the weight to the front of your feet. Heels are light, but they're grounded. One more breath. Now inhale, walk your hands towards the front. Exhale, place your hands at the hips. Inhale, come back up. Let's have a variation. Inhale, spread your wings again. Exhale, interlock fingers behind your back. Now inhale, looking up, lifting your heart. Exhale, bow down, bring your tailbone up and just drape your arms to the front. Some people like to open the palms more. Some people like to squeeze the hands in. But we're trying to stretch your shoulders and also the inseam of your legs. And see whether you can lift the kneecaps up a little bit to engage your quadriceps to maximize the stretch in the, in the groin area. Let's have two more breaths here. One more breath. Now just keep using your nostril breathing. If you have low blood pressure, please slowly come up, but keep breathing. Otherwise, you can come up on one inhale. Now exhale, release your arms and bring your feet about hip width. Feel free to just shake your legs out. Now moving into our standing balancing series. You can bring your feet together. Move your weight to the left side. And then fingers to your hips and slowly lift your knees up. Interlock fingers to the front of your shin. You can flex your toes to just keep your right thigh engaged. Now every exhale, hug your knee in towards your chest if possible. If that's too much for you, you just hold on to your knee, no problem. You can look to the floor in front of you or at a still point in front of you. If you notice this is easy for you, interlock fingers behind your right thigh. And as you exhale, you can slowly straighten your right leg, flexing your right toes. Squeeze your legs muscle. Relax your shoulders. One more breath here. Exhale, lower your right foot down to the floor. Ready for the left side. Weight on the right foot. Interlock fingers in front of your left shin. Please flex your left toes. If your bottom foot is wobbling, just press down on your right big toe mount. But try to keep your standing toes relaxed. Now again, you can brace your, the back of your left thigh and then exhale, straighten your left leg out. Relaxing your shoulders. And I want your inhale to help your heart to lift up. And then exhale, lower your left foot down to the floor. Feel free to wiggle your hips, release the legs. 